Buongiorno, buonasera e benvenuti amici. Welcome my friends and welcome to my channel, Fountain Pen Therapy. What I'm offering you today is a series of inks. So we're going to do an ink review, or in fact, we have eight inks to review for you. They're all from Ferris Wheel Press and from their uh, latest collection, which is the Fairy Tales collection. That collection has, from what I understand, two series, if you will, the Once Upon a Time series and the Down the Rabbit Hole series. I find these names fascinating, by the way. Um, and I have four inks from each series. I don't have all of them because some of them were sold out, so I couldn't purchase them. But it gives you, you know, I have eight from with various colors. It gives you a pretty good idea of what, what this ink looks like. I've done some swatching so that you can take a closer look and uh, make up your own minds. So without any further ado, let's go to my overhead camera and we will take a look at what we have to offer you. First of all, in terms of the, the bottle, the bottle, uh, here's the bottle. The bottle is a 20 milliliter bottle. And I would say to you that this is probably the number one criticism I have of this ink which criticism I think probably ends there. Uh, the inks I think are all fabulous, but look at this o opening. Um, I'm sorry, Ferris wheel, but um, when it comes time to put a pen in there, not all pens fit. Maybe their pens do, which are very slim, and some of the slimmer uh, pens, but you know, if I, um, if I take any larger pen, uh, I'm stuck. I can't do it. I either have to um, I probably have to use a, a you know a um, a syringe and 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 fill up my my uh, converter that way, which is not the best way for me to at least not my favorite way of filling my pens. So that's that's the number one criticism uh, I have for for you. Otherwise, the bottles are interesting. They're round. They're they're pretty. Um, uh, and you know uh, you can see the shimmering by the way in this one at the bottom here. Um, so that's that's the bottle. In terms of the packaging, well, let's take a look at this first one. This one is by the name of a glistening glass, and here's the uh, here's a swatch that I've done for you. It's um, it's um, a um, gold shimmer. Okay, now. The box says that it should have some red sheen. Folks, I don't see the red sheen here. I really don't. Um, um, and, um, oh, I think I know why I don't see it, because I've mixed it up with another ink. Sorry, folks. <laughs> so I do have the red sheen. Here's the red sheen. So that's glistening glass. My apologies. So you could see it, has, it does definitely has the shimmer. There's very little shading. Um, and it has red sheen, uh, as you can see. So that's the shimmering ink, and that's the way it, it, it looks. So very, very, very interesting ink, my opinion. Okay, the next one I have for you is Cloak and Forest. That's the box, Cloak and Forest, and there's a little, you know, there's very, uh, some information there that you have. And here's the, here's the swatch. Isn't that interesting? Very, very nice. This is probably, I would say, my favorite one in, in the collection, um, just because there's a variety of inks there. Um, first of all, you could see the red sheen. You could see some of the green. You can see some of the blue. And you can see the silver shim shimmering. So um, does it have any shading? Some, some shading, very low shading, but um, mostly sheen. So... I think that that is just a fabulous, fabulous ink. Gorgeous. The next one up are, is the ink by the name of Workshop Wishes. That's the box. So it gives you, you can see that it has a beige uh, brown look, if you will. And here is the, uh, here is the, um, the swatch. There is no sheen. Uh, there's some silver shimmer and there's some shading there. Uh, you could see it here. That green that you see there, believe it or not, is because I used a page uh, that had some writing on it on the other end, and it came right out. 
So I apologize for that, but it, it also gives you an idea of uh, maybe not to do swatches behind a page that's already been written on. <laughs> there you go. But that's the Workshop Wishes swatch. Also very, very interesting. By the way, all of these swatches are done on Tomo River paper, which is my favorite paper, especially if I'm going to want to demonstrate for you some of the um, uh, some of these inks. Now we're going to pass... Uh, oh, no. Okay, that's my fourth ink, which is the Lapis Lullabies. Um, and, and you can see there's a champagne shimmer, some very low shading. You can see some shading there, but there is some. Eh, slight red sheen um, in some places, not obvious, at least not on this watch, but there is some red sheen there. Very nice. You can see the shimmer. Very, very nice. Very nice. I like, by the way, this grayish blue ink, especially the way it um, translates itself in, onto paper when you're writing. So, very interesting ink. That's, that's it for the um, Once Upon a Time series. Now we're going to move to the uh, Down the Rabbit Hole. And the first ink I have for you is an ink by the name of... Um, Twinkling Tea Party. So that's the box. You can see it has a very a green base. Okay. And here's the ink. Again, a very, very interesting ink. It's got red sheen. It's got rose gold uh, shimmer and some shading. Okay. And you could see that there is red and green in there, but the base is green. It gives you a chance to look at the color and that gives you a chance to see the shimmer. So... That's a very, very nice swatch. Gives you a very good idea what this ink is all about. Just absolutely very, very nice inks. The next one is by the name of Queen Queen in Castle. Again, you can see it has a, a, a beige-ish, yellowish, brown tint. So that's the base, okay? Even some green in there, if you will. And um, here it is. Um, it's... Um, no, no real sheen, uh, high shading. You can see definitely the shading. Sorry, I don't have it in the camera. There we go. And you can see some rose gold shimmer there. See high shading, the shading especially on the sides here. Okay. That's a very nice green gold, if you will. Very nice. And that rose shimmer gives it just, a, just another touch. Next on my list is an ink by the name of tumbling time blue here's the box and it, that box gives you a very good idea of what the ink looks like by the way it's really um up spot on in my my opinion because look at the swatch uh, as you can see the swatch has got some very nice red sheen it's got silver shimmer and it's got some level of shading a little bit of shading but not much so that's the shimmer uh, this is the ink without the shimmer okay and then you can take a look at the shimmer. Isn't that beautiful? Very, very nice. That's my second favorite of the of the lot. So that's Tumbling Time Blue. And then we've got the last one in this Down the Rabbit Hole series, which is Green with Curiosity. Um, very nice. And when you see the swatch and you see the box, again, spot on. They did a really good job to reflect the ink on the box, if you will. And here's the um, here's the swatch. Isn't that gorgeous? You can see the red sheen. You can see the blue shimmer and, the, you know, somewhat shading. So it's not blue. It's green. Okay? It's green. You can see it's got a green base, but it's got a blue shimmer. And that what that's what gives it that blue-greenish look. And then with the red sheen, uh, it just makes it just a gorgeous just a gorgeous gorgeous ink I must say I'm starting to change my mind i thought i thought that cloak and forest was my favorite but uh the more i look at this one and uh, the more i look at green curiosity i think this is also very very nice ink so there you have it i hope that gives you a very good idea of what this ferris wheel uh, shimmering ink looks like um check out their website 
uh, it's an ink that goes really quickly, comes back in stock, and then gets sold out very quickly. So um, I'm going to try to complete this collection. I was missing one or two from each of the two series. And as soon as I do, um, I will probably um, uh, provide you with some swatches to, to complete the collection. But I think that gives you a very good idea of what this ink is all about, and I hope you appreciate it. Please subscribe. If you have any comments, please let me know. If not, enjoy your spring, and see you in the next video.